Radio Raheem backstage at the O2 Arena with Zizo just performed. This is uh, yet another fight. You're not uh, making a habit of getting in there with lightweight guys. You're in tough every time. Yeah, you know, uh, this is the plan that my promoter, Skill Challenge Promotions, and Prince Khaled have for me. You know, they want to test me the smart way, not the easy way. And this is what we want to do. You know, I want to have a lot of experience to catch up to moving from the Arab world, going abroad at a late age. I have to catch up on a lot. And so we're learning as the fights go. But you got to also teach the mind as you teach the body. Most fighters with a big promoter like you and, and, and high expectations don't take this path. Well, what did you learn this time out? Well, I learned that, you know, my home is the ring, hmm. uh, not where I'm fighting, not who I'm fighting in front of. My home is the ring. I have to start easy. I have to start cold, start with my jab, not let the hype of the crowd get to me ever and not let the excitement of making history, you know, be expressive in the first round or right off the bat. I have to take it slow. When I see shots, I take them. And if I see a chance to end it early, I take it, but I don't go chasing it. Last time out, uh, your opponent was a firefight. You guys were exchanging the whole time. This guy was pretty tucked up, a tough defense. Yeah. How did you break through that and make sure that you scored enough to win the rounds? I mean, I have a good corner in the great Buddy McGirt, you know, a, a Hall of Famer and a legend now, a legend trainer. All I, all I think about at the end of the round when I hear the 10 seconds is opening up my ears for the instructions in between the rounds and in the corner. And that's what I do. I listen to the instructions. And sometimes I don't only listen to the instructions. I, have, I can tell by Buddy's face expression or his voice, the tone of his voice as I'm fighting, what I need to know, even what I need to do, even if he doesn't actually say it. I don't know how big a plane you took over here, but you had a big crowd cheering yeah. for you. <laughs> uh, are you feeling any pressure to get knockouts early? And, and how do you stay patient to make sure that, again, you win rounds and, and don't slip up? I have, uh, I, I have pressure to positively represent if it's outside the ring or inside the ring. And that comes from positive results. And positive results come from a win. It doesn't matter the win if it comes by knockout or if I knock him down a few times. A win is a win and it's a positive res representation. And at the end of the day, what's important is changing the perceptions of the people that they have on the Arab world. Having that language, you know, breaking that language barrier, an international athlete, that's one in a million. You know, you don't see it often. And I'm happy to be in this spot. I'm happy God put me in this spot. You came from a pay-per-view stage. Now the O2 Arena, Anthony Joshua fight. Have you guys had any discussions about what's next up? I don't know, Madison Square Garden, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we haven't had any discussions, but I know they want to keep me as active as possible. And whatever is next, I don't expect anything because I'm ready for whatever comes. So I don't like to put expectations, but I know that with, with Skill Challenge Promotions, with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, with Prince Khalid and the Ministry of Sport in Saudi Arabia, anything is possible and anything could be done. And I want to keep going. And I want to show them that I'm that guy. And for the two or three people that didn't take the plane with you over here, <laughs> how many message back for your fans and young fighters in Saudi? You know, I was surprised by the crowd that gathered at the weigh-in. Even I was, I was like, who, who are the people cheering? You know, and in the fight, I kept hearing Z, Z. I was like, I have three people, my childhood best friends with me here. <laughs> That's not them. So it felt good, you know. But my message to Saudi Arabia, to the Arab world, I look forward to making more history. I look forward to making more international history for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Khaled and Skill Challenge Promotions. You know, they are the future and I'm the future for them. And I'm just so happy to be here. And I just want to say, Mom, I just fought at the O2 Arena. <laughs> Truly a new dawn here in London. Radio Rahim at the O2 Arena with Zizo. <laughs>